Yo, how's it going guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple 3D architecture scene within Blender Cycles. So of course, if you do enjoy this video and want to see more tutorials on the channel that I'm going to be uploading more often, please drop a like down below and of course, subscribe to the channel. So starting off, if this video does get 100 likes, I'm going to provide the download link for the blend file in the description below. So of course, keep that in mind, but we're going to be starting off straight away here. I'm going to delete everything within my scene right now. So we're going to do a very basic one that's going to have water in it and stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with the ground and shift A. We're going to add a plane. Press S and then 5. So that's going to be having it out by 5 on the uh, X axis or whatever. So I'm going to actually go into solid mode here at the top right. Shift A, add a cube. Now I'm going to be doing these um, stairs right now. So of course we're going to scale that out on the x-axis and here we go we could put these to like the same length if you like as the plane as well so i'm going to make this just a bit slimmer and so we've pretty much got the starter base of what these stairs are going to look like obviously you don't want to be copy and pasting it like this trying to line it up there's a lot easier way to do that so if we go here to the modifier add a modifier go to array now we can see that all these values, you can see it adds onto the side there, but we're gonna put that to zero. We could put this to one and also this to one. So what that's gonna do is add it like a step. If we increase the number count like that, as many as you want, you can make a stairways to heaven if you like, but yeah, that's kind of the idea of this. So let's bring this down again, maybe to like six. And I still think they're a little bit too big. So let me just scale them down just a little bit like that and uh, maybe let's up it to like eight there we go that's quite good so far so that's what we got i'm actually going to click on the plane uh, shift and then d to duplicate it and this is going to be the pl uh, plane above it like that there we go so we've got like a two areas at the minute so the next point that i'm going to do is create the as well wall so again shift a or you can go to add and go up here like that and we're going to scale this in it's going to be the main wall so this green one here do that as well we can actually uh, make that the same width as the other stuff now when we've got that into place I'm gonna move it back just a bit here maybe it is a bit too big so what I'm going to do is add a camera so if we go shift a go down to camera and I'm gonna put this in position by pressing N, I get up this navigation menu here. But in these values, obviously it's facing straight on. If yours is facing somewhere else, then it could be, because obviously you could have this number like fate or not this one. The rotation could be somewhere else then, if that makes sense. So of course, I'm actually gonna change the axis to 1200, or not axis, what is it, X and Y then. And then 1500, I think this is the best looking uh, in my opinion anyway I do like this one because it just like this the best I'd say resolution for Instagram I would say in my opinion that is so let's do that which one is that one uh, we do just move up these values right what I'm gonna do is bring that back actually so this is what we got so far looking pretty decent not gonna lie what we've got going on very basic stuff so far so let's go into the actual render view and instead of me moving about in this view all the time because it get a bit frustrating and of well not frustrating just you know you don't want to be seeing that all the time make a new view, uh, panel just by clicking at the top there now i'm going to hide everything in this view so all i can see is the render view here and this one's going to be the solid mode so then obviously i can do all my adjustments in this side but then i can see the final render in this Obviously, it just makes the workflow a lot easier and a lot quicker. There we go. Now, obviously, the lighting isn't the best. So to make a satisfying scene, we need to adjust some of the rotation of the HDR that I have. The Wide Street 01 from HDR Haven, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. Just move about a bit of the values and see what we get. I think that looks pretty decent. So, of course, I don't want to make this too long for you. Shift A. I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to add that in there. Let's shade smooth it, add a more modifier, and that would be a subdivision modifier. That's just going to smooth out the edges a bit more so it's not so jagged. 
and there we go so what I'm doing with this is gonna click on the wall and go to boolean and go on the eyedropper tool and click on the shape you can probably see it made an edge if I go back to this one what I do to hide it is of course by just doing that and it gets rid of that completely obviously if I want to change the size of it and I can and we can hide it again like that I'm just gonna move about the rotation just a bit and see what else we could do here what we've got going on here a lot of the light source is coming through uh, the hole in the wall that we have going on I just think that's quite a good looking kind of scene so far so what a lot of these scenes uh, they have water in so what I can do is just shift D on that let's duplicate it now for this go to edit mode by pressing tab uh, going to subdivide and then increase the value maybe subdivide again and increase it might be a bit too many but that's okay now if we go to displace new and then let's go to clouds let's just make this like 0 0.1 maybe that could be too much but we'll find out and then we'll do something the same okay, maybe not that much like that so you can kind of see there's some ripples now obviously there's not a lot going on right now so we want to add a bit of texture and roughness to it by bringing up the metallic and then the roughness all the way down it's looking a bit like blocky there so if I shade smooth it go to modify again and of course uh, subdivide it again there we go like that so that's looking pretty good see the ripples looks like water maybe we could actually change the color of the water like that now obviously water isn't just like a solid thing like you can see through it. it's pretty clear usually so we add the alpha and we just bring that down a bit so now we can see the steps that are just underneath there like that maybe bring it down just a bit more so you can see that we have uh, the ripples of the water add a bit of color and also we could actually see through it that's pretty good now I think for the wall, we're going to add a, I'd say a decent texture, nothing too crazy because you don't want to see anything like a pink, green, like these bright colours. These obviously do work, it can look quite nice, but I think for a satisfying scene, something like in the lighter ranges, like a purple or a pink. So let's go with this like pinky colour. Let's maybe bring down the roughness so it gives it like that concrete kind of style, pasty wall. I think that looks quite nice so I'm just gonna call this maybe like something wall go to this other one do the same and the layer below the water again let's make that a wall texture as well maybe the same with the steps or you can make them any type of color that you want you can put them all different colors if you like it's really up to you to be honest there we go so now we've got that looking pretty decent I am liking this so far so we can have, if you like, you can mess about with a lot of the values of where the light is coming from. So you can tell our light is coming like from this way, a lot of the light source as you can see from there. We can change that if you really want to, but I'm kind of liking it. That looks really nice actually. I'm not a big fan of this reflection here, but on the water it looks really good. There we go, that's what we got so far. I think it's time to maybe add some props to make it look a bit more appealing and obviously not look so bland so we can go to a mesh here and for example let's just add a sphere so again shade smooth right click shade smooth then modifier to the uh, subdivision I forgot the name nearly right and I'm just gonna add some pretty cool texture whatever that could be maybe because we've got a lot of purple we can add like a blue and let's make that a metallic with the roughness quite low down I don't know let's just try these samples and see what happens go and then we, let's just duplicate the ball or sphere and put it closer to the camera let's have it just above the water or like where it's just touching it make it a new layer so you can change the color maybe to like a pink or a purple like that so that's looking pretty good I'm liking this so other things that I do like to mess around with is obviously other props that we like to use and a lot of curtains are used in scenes like this so I think it's best if we do actually use some curtains just to fit in with it so let's just do that let's go into edit mode here and we're gonna move this one over like that 
That's looking pretty nice. I'm actually really liking this, to be honest. Especially the lighting that makes it look a lot like better and cleaner, definitely. There we go. Now, it doesn't look very central there at the minute. Maybe something like that. We could probably bring it out of the camera just a bit. Right, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually add a bit of a landscape in the background. So add, then we go to mesh and landscape. This can be any landscape. I've got mine set to whatever this one is. You can have all different types of them. I just think this is going to be filling up a bit of the background, of course. So obviously going to scale this up pretty big. Doesn't have to be a crazy size, but pretty big. It's going to be in the background anyway, so you won't be seeing it as much. Maybe you could put it quite far back like that. The colour, let's just make it kind of like a pinky colour. Again, let's maybe decrease that completely. There we go. That's looking quite nice. Like that. And because it's looking a bit jagged on some of these shadows and edges, let's just subdivide it again. Like so, so it looks a bit smoother now. I'm actually liking this. Maybe a different colour. Maybe like a blue so it can fit with the curtains. There we go. Oh, but the sky's going to be blue probably. So instead of blue, we go something very simple. So what I'm going to do is actually render this out. Whatever samples. I'm going to do this for demonstration as 300. So it does it quite simple. Obviously not the best looking, but of course it's going to look pretty nice in the end overall just to have a look at the preview then go into photoshop and do some final adjustments and that is pretty much your scene complete so there we go guys that is the final scene complete with a few adjustments made within photoshop of course not perfect but i made this within 10 15 minutes just to give you guys a start of what tutorials are going to be coming and of course i'm going to be doing some more in-depth ones to do with scene building and stuff like that but of course if you enjoy this Please drop a like and also subscribe if you're new because I've got a lot more tutorials that I'm planning to do in the future and of course build my experience within Blender as well as we go along. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.